Hey guys, welcome back to the Epic Family Road Trip. Uh, it is August the 10th, if you can believe it. The summer has been going by so fast, but it's a very exciting day for us because we get to go in and pick up Worsley from the shop. Apparently, everything is back in running condition, so uh, we're super excited about that, but we're going to take Worsley on another shakedown trip just to make sure. We're going to get into some mud and, and onto some trails, and uh, Dan's coming with us, and he's going to be filming for his channel. If you haven't followed him already, make sure you do at Dan Van Stralen on YouTube, and he's going to share the trip from his perspective, which is going to be cool. He'll be in Vandy, Carol and I in Worsley, and we're going to just get out there and test Worsley put put it through some pretty challenging uh, whatever we can find put you know some challenges so that we know that it's ship shape and ready to go and then we're going to be heading west so come with us we're going on an adventure All right, let's hope this is it, eh? Yeah. All right, so they brought the Jeep out and uh, paid for the new parts in the transfer case. They've test driven it a few times, no problems. So let's go camping. So this should be fun going camping with Dan and Lando with both of the Jeeps again. So I think this will be our first time actually camping with just one of our kids, too, with Lando. But it's gonna be kind of fun. Try it here for four wheel drive. I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, see ya. Ready to go on an adventure with Dan the man? All right. Let's do it. We're all packed up. Uh, let's head into the bush. Um, this is the shakedown trip before we head west. We're going with Dan the man. Wait, Orlando. I thought it was the shakedown number three. It is shakedown number three, yeah. All right, we'll check it out. It's an adventure. You guys look like you're ready for. Uh, <laughs> We're ready for an adventure. Scenario, so. <laughs> Thanks so much. All right, nice uh, talking. You know yeah, you too. Ring, Thank you. Nice guy. Well, that was good. It's always nice to talk to the locals. Yeah, we just met a local guy, and there is no easy access to him. Yeah, for sure. He likes fishing back in there. There's no easy access to drive up to any of the lakes back in here, and there's hundreds of lakes, but. He said there's one trail he told us about, and we'll go check it out, but he said you're going to get stuck in the mud for sure. So I think it's time for an adventure. Let's go see if the bugs aren't too bad. We might brave it. But Lando's having fun. It's been a while since he's been out running. So that's the swampy, boggy area he was talking about. 
we're parked up there. And I, I think if we stick to that side, we probably can get through. We can kind of work our way over this hump and the rest is good. I think there's another one up here. We'll go check it out. So here's the second bog. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. It looks, you know, it's fairly deep, but looks like a workaround here for more quads, but I think the Jeep would go right through there. Not gonna fit under this tangled mess, but we do have a chainsaw. This is what we're here for. A beautiful lake. Man, if we can make it out here, this would be an epic camp spot. A couple of boats. Huh, I think it's worth it. We should camp out here. Lindo, wanna camp out here, buddy? It's gonna be a lot of bushwhacking. Well, Lando's not sleeping with me tonight. I think he has his own spot. <laughs> Better. <laughs> Watch your white shirt. Here, I think he's happy to be back out on the trail. That's for sure. He's just running like crazy. Oh, what a mess. I know, no, 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 it's okay. <laughs> Bring it up, Arlen. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice uh, choice of shoes you got there, Dan. These are the Expedition 3000s. <laughs> Perfect for uh, running cameras through muddy puddles. Is there an actual clear lake? Is there like an open camping spot? Oh, wow. That'd be a pretty camping so spot. Oh, that is perfect. We could put the little boat in there, paddle around the corner, and it's a wide open lake. Wow. Maybe Lando can wash off too. Hmm. I wonder if there's any good fishing. Did we bring the raft? The guy said it's really yeah. good fishing. We have the raft, everything. So that, that'll be easy. There's going to be some chainsaw. That's going to be the hardest one. We brought the electric chainsaw. Big moose so. tracks in the mud. No way. some soupy mud that just sticks to your tires. It's been a while since we've done a off-road trail. I forgot to put it into four low. <laughs> it's like the number one rookie mistake, but uh, we made it, so that's all that matters.
get past this tree, do you think? No, your elbow box is too high. If I go far, far that way, maybe go up front and guide me through. Okay, we might need well, to guide let's get Dan. Dan through, let's yeah. get him. That was tight. You barely got it. You kind of have to hug that side until you pass this big tree and then you can hit it. Just go back and then buff it. as well but you gotta come straight up so then you're gonna have to go that way with the wheels yeah okay. get over the rock back pull in your mirror you're gonna have to turn your wheels the other way and go back a little bit just back a wee bit and then just bump it. Not too sharp, not too sharp. Okay, now this way. Beauty. Once you know you're clear behind you. Okay. You have to get the saw. Okay, I'll leave it here for now. You're gonna have to get the saw out and trim part of that tree. Although I, I wouldn't mind trying it. If you stay far to the left, you might be able to squeeze under it. Okay. Let's give that a try. If not, we'll cut it. Just hit. Thing we brought this. Yeah. Put some gas in it. Got gas in oil. See where the uh, aloe box hit right here, peeled some bark off. So, Carol's gonna back the Jeep up just a wee bit. And if I get to that point, I think we're, we're through.
made it. Uh, it was a nice little trail getting in here. Took a bit of bushwhacking. But we're right on a lake and uh, tomorrow we'll do some exploring and some fishing in there. But for now we're just going to get the jeeps turned around, leveled off, and set up our mosquito tent and get camp set up and uh, watch the sun go down. But it's a beautiful evening, the weather's great, and uh, we've cleared the trail so we know we can get out without too much trouble. Is that good enough? It's pretty level. in here we're just enjoying our time we're gonna have some food and then hit the hay and uh, we'll see you in the morning
Good morning. We had our coffee and breakfast. And I've inflated this little guy here. This is our alpaca blow up uh, raft. And we got this thing just for situations like this. Our dream was to be able to get into a lake like we did yesterday and then take this out on the lake and do some fishing and looking around. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. There's a bit of a walk around to a deeper spot and that's probably where I'll launch the boat. All right, I'm out on the lake. I'm gonna do some casting. Once you get out past where our camp is, it's quite a big lake down that way, as you probably saw on the drone. And I'm gonna kind of head out that way, see what I can get. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I got something. It's not too big, but. Little guy, he's tugging, he's tugging. Oh, he's a pretty good fighter. Oh, he got off. <laughs> I didn't tug that one hard enough. He got off. in behind me and keep paddling. <clears throat> so there's no roads up to this lake. It's fly-in only. There's no cabins, no properties on this lake, just wild country all around. So pretty special place. The only so-called road access is that little trail we took, which is really a four by four trail. Typically hunters in the fall come in here, but some people come in fishing as well, I guess, but it's a hidden gem.
wedged on a big stump. Will I be able to drop over it? It's dead. Uh, try. Yeah, there you go. full trail. Uh, thankfully the bugs have kind of died down a little bit to make it a little bit easier running the camera. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Um, we're happy that uh, Worsley's ready to go and we are going to hit the road. We're heading west. Yeah, and we have some really exciting news because we are going to the expo in Colorado. So hopefully we see you guys there and we're going to be bringing along Lando with us. So please come by and say hi and we'll be updating you on where we're going to be and hopefully we can figure that out sooner than later so we can all say hi to you. Yeah, we really look forward to seeing it, as many as can make it. It's at the end of this month, uh, 26th, 27th, and 28th in Loveland, Colorado. So we'll see you there. And in the meantime, we'll, we'll see, see you down, down the road. road.